Ouija, Origin of Evil, is a horror movie and prequel to 2013's Ouija, this time directed by Mike Flanagan. And boy oh boy, I hated Ouija. It's not a great movie, it's actually pretty darn horrible. Stilted acting, an interesting story and very convoluted, uh, cheesy effects, uh, cheap ass jump scares. It's not a good movie, not at all. So, once they announced that they were going to make a prequel, I was actually not all that interested. But then, the first trailer came out. And it looked interesting, especially because I'm a huge fan of the Conjuring franchise and the best thing about it is that it's set in the 70s. So this movie really got my attention. And after that, all the reviews started coming in. It was directed by Mike Flanagan. Everyone said it had great acting and an interesting story. So I decided to give it a chance. And I was happy because this is a great horror movie and the type of horror movie that I actually love watching. The movie is about a mother and their two daughters and they run a seance scam. Pretty much they just bring people in, they fake ghosts and various stuff and they try to bring closure to the deaths of loved ones. So if, for example, you didn't know if your wife actually loved you in the end, they fake everything up and then in the end they say yeah she loves you, she says she loves you, you can go now, be happy. Because the husband slash father of the family actually died recently, so they're still grieving and this is their way of accepting the grief. So it was an interesting concept. And then one day, to change things up in their scam, they decide to bring in a Ouija board which has just been released. Only that the little girl played brilliantly by Ludo Wilson, plays with the board alone. She gets possessed by a spirit, and then creepy ass shit starts happening. And this movie is excellent in terms of horror because it's not the usual modern horror movie, which I love. It's more like The Conjuring. It creeps up on you, it has creepy imagery, but not necessarily loud ass jump scares. It has great acting and an interesting story. You care about the characters. The first act is entirely about them. And the effects are great, it's mostly practical effects and it looks like an actual movie of the 60s and 70s with the set design, the costumes and even the cigarette burns in the corner. It was great and uh, honestly I, I loved Lulu Wilson in this movie. She was creepy as hell and she played the little innocent girl who also gets possessed by the evil spirit greatly. It's one of the best child performances of the year. Also, this gives me hope for Annabelle 2, which will come out next year, and it stars Lulu Wilson and it's a prequel to the original Annabelle movie. And I hated the Annabelle movie, so hopefully that will be another Ouija Origin of Evil, a prequel that actually makes things better. And if you've seen the original movie, you kind of already know what's gonna happen in the movie, in this one, so... It's a mixed bag in that sense, but if you have not seen the original Ouija, just don't watch it at all and definitely watch this movie first, because it's worth it. It's well acted, interesting story, I also like the priest character, I always like priest characters in this type of movies, yeah. And the sound is pretty darn great and I also really enjoyed the soundtrack, so definitely go watch Ouija Origin of Evil, it's still in theater and especially if when it comes out on VOD, Watch it with your friends at night or with your family, it's definitely worth your time. And it's a hard PG-13, it really pushes the boundaries in a couple of scenes. But still guys, have you heard of Ouija Origin of Evil? Have you seen it? And did you like the first movie? Tell me in the comments below. Thanks guys for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.